What's up everyone? I'm Tim and this is my channel 40 Times Around where typically we talk about everything related to motorcycles, camping, traveling, and adventure. Today's going to be a little bit different though. I'm actually coming up on my sobriety anniversary and, and one of you guys asked me to speak a little more on that and, and it was just interesting timing because as I approach this anniversary of, of sort of the beginning of a new chapter in my life, I end up reflecting on where I was eight years ago today, leading up to that last day. And so what I want to talk about today is not, not really just my struggles and what I've been through, but kind of reach out to anyone that's dealing with any kind of pain or depression or anxiety or addiction issues, because I'm going to get into it a little bit more in a minute, but what I found is that the holidays can be a really rough time and can kind of exaggerate existing conditions. So I just kind of want to talk about this a little bit. It's totally different than my usual videos, but it is important to me as I approach another milestone in my sobriety. Let's just say that, that I, this is a time of year typically where I end up reflecting a lot and it can be a challenging time of year anyway. So if this applies to you, please stick around. Um, if you're typically only here for motorcycles, camping, traveling, and adventure, please Stop on by next Tuesday. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, this is kind of important stuff, though, and I, I hope that I'm able to reach a few people with this message. Um, so, stick around. So, about a week ago, I put out a video about five beginner mistakes for motorcycle traveling. One of the tips I mentioned was that you shouldn't wait so long for for things like that. Like you shouldn't wait to start doing things, right? Uh, don't put things off and and how I kind of regretted that I didn't start sooner. And, and a lot of you guys mentioned actually the timing of life and how sometimes, you know, you're not really ready for things when you want to be. And so you have to go through your process. And, and that really hit home with me. And actually, after I posted that video, it, it kind of hit me too. Like, yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Um, I was going through things in my early 20s that I wasn't ready to be traveling on a motorcycle yet. It would have been dangerous, you know? So I think everybody kind of has their own timeline and things progress as they progress for each individual person, you know? So I wanted to clear that up as I get into this video a little deeper that I don't have regrets about when I started motorcycle traveling or putting it off. What I was really getting at with that is, if you have something in mind, if you're planning a trip, don't put it off, don't wait for the perfect time, you know. But on the other hand, the other side of that, and I think we're kind of getting into two separate things here, is that everybody has their own timeline and, and things happen when they're supposed to happen. And that's been pretty evident for me throughout my life that I've struggled with depression, anxiety, addiction throughout my life from a very young age and not necessarily drug addictions, but just having an addictive personality, you know, whatever it is, if it's video games or, you know, junk food, anything, not just drugs and alcohol. I, I just get very addicted to things and that's been present since I was very young. So in terms of timing in life, you know, when I was 19, geez, when I was 18, no, when I was 17 years old, I went to my first rehab. And I think I stayed sober for the two weeks that I was in rehab. Um, I just wasn't ready, you know? You can't force it. Fast forward a little bit, I tried again at 19, lasted a few months, I wasn't ready. <laughs> so fast forward, things get worse, get worse, get worse. Um, I'm going to get into what was happening eight years ago today in a minute. But everybody has their timing. So, so that is something I wanted to mention in this video that, you know, you can't force yourself to be ready for, for a change in life like that. If you've struggled with depression, anxiety, addiction, any kind of mental health issues, you might know or have experienced in your life that the holidays can be a tough time. You know, for one, even if you haven't dealt with mental health issues, it's typically a time where 
yeah, there's a lot of joy and there's a lot of happiness. But typically, as life goes on, there's somebody in your life that isn't here anymore, somebody that's passed away, and, and the holidays always seem to make that far more apparent. And so that's an aspect to it, right? There's a sadness to it because, you know, for me, it was years past. It was my one of my grandparents would have passed away, and, and the first holiday after that, it was rough. Like, it was obvious they weren't there. I didn't talk to them on the phone or go see them on Christmas Day or Thanksgiving. And, and so there's a sadness involved in that. That adds to it. There's also this ideal image of what a family should be all together, gathered around a, you know, dinner table having dinner and and being you know totally functional and and normal normal um that image of the perfect family is everywhere this time of year at least in the united states um all the commercials and and everything it's it's all about christmas is the perfect family you know scenario and this is like in your face during this time of year and, and, and a lot of times i can have you feeling like you're just not quite measuring up so that's an aspect to it. There's also a social pressure. <laughs> For me, dealing with social anxiety, like there was a time in my life where I couldn't go to a convenience store and buy a soda because I might have to talk to the person behind the counter. That's not an exaggeration. That's real life for me. <laughs> the fact that I'm able to make these videos and talk to you is a freaking miracle in my mind. You know, there were years past, years in my life, solid chunks of years where I really didn't talk much at all. So for me to have found my voice and, and be able to talk on YouTube like this, um, this is pretty wild stuff for me. Um, so in terms of social anxiety, I can relate. Having to go to a Christmas party you don't necessarily want to be at, there's gonna be people there dealing with all of the small talk and the the clashing of personalities and all of that, it could be rough. So don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be all negative here. The holidays are a wonderful time of year. It's just that if things are bad, the holidays have a way of kind of magnifying that. And that's what I'm getting at is if you're feeling that, if you're experiencing that, you're not alone. I've dealt with it in the past, I still sometimes deal with it. The good news, at least from my perspective and and why I'm now approaching my anniversary on of my sobriety, the reason it is when it is is because this is actually the perfect time to make changes. I'm gonna get into that in a second. Let me tell you where I was eight years ago, roughly eight years ago today, depending on when you see this video. I was I was solidly at my bottom. <laughs> I had hit bottom so hard I bounced several times and and it took me a few tries and and eight years ago today I, I had been sober for a, a, a few months and approaching the holidays at this particular time in my life with a lot going on and, and I was away from my family. I was I was in a bad situation in life to begin with. I was living somewhere I really didn't want to be living. I didn't know anybody where I was. I was new to Long Island and and my family wasn't there and and I was dealing with addiction issues and trying to get sober, <laughs> trying to do the right thing because as things in my life at that moment were happening, I realized like, I have two paths here. <laughs> I can go down this way and keep doing what I've been doing and let things progress. And the state of my life right now is going to be a quick shot to, to hell. Like, real quick. <laughs> or I can go this way and I can try to do the right thing. I can try to f pull myself together and, uh, and keep going forward. Um, this way was certain death for me. Um, you know, it's, it's a part of this too was, you know, a mixture of things. I was, I was suicidal at the time. I didn't want to live. And this was a tricky thing because I don't want to live, but I don't have the, I don't have it in me to do anything about that in terms of ending it. But I also can't keep doing what I'm doing. And, um, <laughs> 
so right around this time, uh, leading up to Christmas Day, I relapsed. And up until this point, I had been pretty strictly not doing certain drugs. And I was only really drinking. And, and when you drink to replace certain drugs, you have to drink a lot, <laughs> like a lot. And on this particular relapse, somebody offered me something at the bar and, and I took it. And, and I kind of blacked out for a little while. Um, I remember the next morning waking up, seeing my truck um, parked outside with no, no idea of how it got there how I got home, um, and I, I had a little bit left, and it was like there was no choice in the matter, I just started doing it, um, and it was the worst day of my life, by a long shot, I was very much alone, um, dealing with the paranoia of that particular drug, and, and it was just really bad and, and I wanted to die and being in that, being that low is, is, it can be a gift because, because things were so bad in that moment, bad enough for me to make a change and, and this is what I'm getting at with why this is good news, that the holidays are actually the perfect time to make a change for the better. Because it got so bad that I made a change, I was willing to make a change, and because it was at such a tumultuous time, not only of the year, but of my life, I had nowhere to go but up, in all ways, in all directions. It was nowhere to go but up. I mean, in my head it was like, okay, I'm gonna do this now, and once I was on the other side of the holidays and the worst of it was over, it was like, well, I made it through that. And let me just keep marching forward and and I did and and eight years later here we are uh, unrecognizable let's just say beyond my wildest dreams I mean what other cliches are there you know it's it's just un unfreaking believable <laughs> so what I'm getting at if you're dealing with struggles with depression or anxiety or addiction, mental health issues. Number one, you're not alone. Uh, I think this is a pretty common time of year for people to get stressed out and, and for things to be, conditions to be worsened. Number two, there's, there's better ways to go about things. And number three, this is the perfect time to make some changes, some positive changes for yourself. If you're dealing with addiction, seek help. <laughs> Don't let it get worse especially because this time of year is exactly when it's going to get worse. And, and depending on what you're doing, addiction in general, you're playing with fire and, and it's only a matter of time. And before it is your last time, things are only going to get worse if, if you keep doing what you're doing. I know they would have for me and, and I wouldn't be here today. Not, not here talking to you on YouTube, but I wouldn't be here on this planet today. That's for sure. And as far as other mental health issues, if you're struggling with that right now, this time of year in particular, as things kind of worsen, reach out to somebody, reach out to a friend or, or a family member or somebody you can trust, or maybe, you know, if it's getting bad and you're alone and you're dealing with that on your own, and maybe you don't have anybody to talk to, maybe it's time to go seek a therapist or a professional that you can talk to. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. I've been down that road a few times in my life. Just to put a bit more of a positive spin on this, because I feel like I'm getting a little emotional as, as I approach this, this milestone for myself. And um, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, because my life is unrecognizably better and improved. But still, like I said, there's this memory of, of where I was five years ago, and, and I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I will tell you that 
there's help for, for depression and anxiety. Mine's gotten a lot better. I think a lot of it was related to the chemicals I was putting in my body. Not all of it though, trust me. <laughs> Still deal with some of that stuff. Um, in terms of addiction, um, once you once you do the right thing and you start putting the pieces of your life back together and, and all of that, um, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible on the other side of that. If you can make it, it's worth putting everything you got into it and trying as hard as you can. My life is amazing today and it's taken a lot of hard work to get here. Um, but I will say that motorcycling for me has been such a gift and, and in particular traveling on a motorcycle has, has really um, connected me with my own spirituality and, and really given me a way to kind of clear that, that channel uh, between me and, and what I would call God. Um, just makes me feel very connected and 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 very happy <laughs> very very happy i love love exploring on a motorcycle so if you're dealing with addictions and stuff what i'm getting at is like hey you know do the right thing get your life straight maybe you'll find this passion for yourself that has consumed my life and just propelled me into something i could never have imagined um, and maybe for you it will be motorcycles and traveling and and hopefully it will because it worked out great for me um it's it's ended up being the perfect obsession for me to replace what i used to be obsessed with it's 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 just such a gift in my life and and i've met amazing people because of motorcycles and i've had amazing experiences and i've explored places that i never would have gone to um, I learned so much about myself. It gave me a lot of confidence. Traveling on a motorcycle and encountering all of these challenges and overcoming them gave me amazing confidence in myself. And and I think that if I hadn't found motorcycles, I would have continued to stay sober and, and getting better. But but I think motorcycles like just totally propelled it like way faster than it was going. So anyways, you're not alone. If this is something you can relate to, if if what I'm saying to you is, is relevant in your life at this moment, you're not alone. Reach out, get help. That's all I'm getting at with this video. And uh, we're a couple days away from Christmas. I celebrate Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Uh, happy holidays. I hope you guys all have an awesome holiday with your family or Whatever the situation may be for you, I hope it's awesome. And thank you guys for coming along on this ride with me over the last 12 months that I've been doing this YouTube thing. Um, I've been on here a lot longer than that, but doing it consistently for the past 12 months. Um, I feel like I've just really connected with a lot of you guys, and, and I've gotten a lot of messages, especially from people who have read my book, where I get a little more into this stuff, a little more into detail. Um, saying that they could relate to certain things and, and that just means so much to me and, and makes me feel like I'm not alone so I wanted to reach back out and say you're not alone uh, anyways that's it for today <laughs> like I said next week we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming motorcycles, camping, traveling and adventure uh, if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything you got something out of this video Give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with somebody that you think might be dealing with some addiction, depression, anxiety issues. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.